Have you ever wondered how far humans can go when pushed to their limits? Imagine the bleak and brutal confines of Auschwitz-Birkenau, a place where humanity was pushed to inconceivable extremes. This was the grim reality for the Sonderkommando, a group of Jewish prisoners tasked with the unthinkable, burying their own people. Day in, day out, they performed a macabre dance with ashes and bones, integral cogs in the death machine they were forced to maintain. Their spirits were battered, but not broken. Amid the despair and darkness, a spark of rebellion began to flicker. As whispers of Soviet forces drawing near fluttered through the camp, the seed of hope took root in their hearts. Tired of being unwilling accomplices to mass murder, the Sonderkommando began to dream of freedom, of an audacious stand against their tormentors. The whispers grew louder, the spark brighter. On October 7th, 1944, the Sonderkommando decided to take a stand, to break free from their tormentors. Imagine the tension of that day, the air filled with fear and hope. The Sonderkommandos, armed with smuggled weapons, made their move. Axes and hammers, once tools of their torment, now became instruments of rebellion. They struck with all their might, the metallic clang echoing their defiance. Yet they didn't stop there. Hidden grenades, pilfered from the very guards who held them captive, were hurled at the SS officers. Fire erupted, its fierce glow mirrored in the eyes of the rebels. The air, once heavy with death, was now thick with smoke and the scent of rebellion. Then, the unthinkable happened. In Crematorium 4, a man named Yehiel Frenkel did the unimaginable. He blew up the gas chamber, the very symbol of their oppression. The explosion echoed through Auschwitz, a thunderous declaration of their resistance. In the midst of the chaos, some Sonderkommandos tasted freedom, however fleeting it was. But freedom in Auschwitz didn't last long. The Nazi retaliation was swift and brutal. The escapees, tasting the fleeting sweetness of freedom, were hunted down like game. One by one they were captured, their dreams of liberation extinguished under a hail of bullets. The aftermath was grim, hope seemingly snuffed out in the unforgiving cold of Auschwitz. Yet the spirit of the rebellion lived on. A few Sonderkommandos managed to survive the ordeal. Among them were individuals like Miklos Neisli, who lived to bear witness to the horrors they had endured and the courageous stand they had made. Their tales echoed through the annals of history, a testament to the indomitable human spirit. The Sonderkommandos' rebellion serves as a reminder that even in the darkest times, the human spirit can resist, can fight back. Their story is a testament to the power of hope and the courage to do what is right, no matter the cost.